So if I go back to uh, go back to my team members, so uh, Meryl has also seen the dashboard that Joe's asked for, uh, but she actually thinks that it could be she thinks that it could be improved um, by adding 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 some adding some color to it. Uh, so she's going to she's going to go and she's going to she's going to modify that dashboard. So Meryl doesn't have Tableau Desktop installed, so she's going to access the dashboard through through Tableau Server. So if I just sign out of Tableau Server for a second, and I sign in as Meryl. I'm going to look at Explore. I'm going to look at my my standard dashboards. I can see this is the this is the dashboard that Joe's been talking to me about, and I'm going to open it in Tableau Server. Now I want to I want to change this dashboard so that there's some uh, color coding of the, of the bars for the various metrics. Uh, and as I say, I don't have I don't have Tableau Desktop installed, so I can't I can't download that into Desktop and edit it. But I do actually have the option to edit here. Uh, this is what's called a web edit within within Tableau, uh, and eventually, effectively, it is a a, a, a web-based version of Tableau Desktop. There's some minor differences differences in the functionality. Uh, there's a few small formatting things that you can't do within Tableau uh, Server that you can do within Tableau Desktop, but uh, for the large part, the, the functionality and the user interface remains the same. Okay, so I'm going to try and add some of these items. To color, so I'm going to go to the individual sheet, uh, and I'm going to color code each of these each of these titles here. So I'm going to look at uh, the rentals. I'm going to say, okay, let me put the uh, the rentals to color, so that I'm I'm color coding I'm color coding this. I'm going to do the same for uh, the inventory count, and I'm finally going to do the same for the the payment amount. So again, I've made a very, made a very small aesthetic tweak to the dashboard. I haven't had to build the dashboard from scratch. Um, I haven't had to uh, to build all these views. I've just kind of taken what Ashley's already done uh, and have iterated on that. I'm going to hide these uh, these legends because I don't really need them. And I'm actually going to go back to uh, the top titles, and I can see the changes that I've made to this dashboard. Uh, dashboard have been reflected. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to save this dashboard. If I've got a file. You can see I don't have the option to save it. Now I, I opened this dashboard from the standard reports folder, uh, and I don't actually have access to save it to that folder. I only have access to uh, save into a, a, an ad hoc folder, which is used for my personal reports. So if I do file save as, uh, I can see the uh, the projects that I have access to, uh, and I have access to save to uh, ad hoc analysis. So I'm going to say I'm going to call it top titles uh, with call. Okay. And I'm going to press save. Okay, so I'm happy with that. And now I'm going to close the um, close the web edit, and I'm going to go back to my back to my dashboard. Okay, so now that I can see that I have a dashboard uh, in the ad hoc analysis folder uh, called Top Titles with Color. So this is a very easy way uh, for me to actually um, uh, for me to actually iterate on somebody else's dashboard. So I have taken the dashboard from the standard reports folder, top titles, and I have created my I have created my personal copy of it in ad hoc analysis, uh, which has some additional color. This could be a more substantial change that I wanted to make for my personal requirements. I might want to add an extra KPI into there. I might want to change some of the titles. Um, but again, I'm able to I'm able to collaborate on the work uh, on the work that on the work that the work that somebody uh, somebody else has done. Now. As 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 Meryl, I also actually um, I've taken a dashboard and I've I've done something new with it. But I also want to see an entirely new view. I want to see um, a top staff member by the number of rentals. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to build I'm going to build a new dashboard. But if I go back to the ad hoc analysis folder, I can do create and I can do create workbook. Now this allows me to build a workbook from scratch. Uh, even without Tableau Desktop, I can do that using the using the web edit functionality. So when I open this web edit, I can see existing data sources that have been created for me. Now this is the data source that Anoop kindly made. So he's made the standard connection to the database. He's configured all the relationships, all the field names, everything that I need to know that I, I don't want to I don't want to have to do myself. So I can click on this data source and I can press connect. And similar to the view that we actually had within similar to the view that we had within 
Tableau, uh, Tableau Desktop, we have all the field names here. Now, what I, what I want to look at is I want to, uh, to look at the top staff member. So the top, top staff member for me, I know is, I know his username. Uh, I'm gonna move the username onto the rows. Uh, I can see I only actually have, uh, actually have two staff members here. So it's quite a small, uh, quite a small uh, subset of data. So let me actually put that onto, onto, onto columns and let me have a look at the number of rentals uh, that have done by been, been done by both John and, and Mike. Obviously, this is a this is a sample data set, uh, so the data the data is quite small. But this gives you a kind of idea of of how you might how you might uh, enable this kind of ad hoc analysis. So I'm going to uh, rename the sheet and I'm going to call this sheet uh, rentals by staff member. And again, I can make a dashboard exactly the same way that I made a dashboard using Tableau Desktop. So I add, I add a new dashboard. I drag the rentals by staff member into here. And let me call the dashboard uh, top staff members. Let me hide the original worksheet because I only want to show the one dashboard. And I want to change the size to display nicely on a, on a laptop browser. So these are all formatting things that you can actually do within, within Tableau Server itself. You don't necessarily need uh, necessarily need Tableau Tableau Desktop installed. Okay, so I am now happy with that dashboard. That's quite nice and neat. That's, that's exactly what I wanted. So let me do File Save As, and again I'm going to save into the ad hoc analysis folder, and let me save it as a top staff members. Take ad hoc analysis, save it into there, and I'm going to do save. Perfect. If I close, and I use reopen this folder, I can see that I now actually have two dashboards in the ad hoc analysis. I have top staff members and I have top titles with color. 